Hi, this is Taylor with San Juan Vans and we're here in the San Juan Mountains where we camped in a couple of our SJ3 model camper vans last night. And we're gonna do a quick tour of this rig right here, which is an SJ3 that we built as a show model. And it has a bunch of uh, extras and modifications. So we'll go through some of those. So one major modification this van has on it, that's an option in all our builds, is the Van Compass Stage 6.3 suspension upgrade. Uh, this is a two inch lift with adjustable suspension all around and a larger leaf spring in the back. This thing really can go places where a stock suspension sprinter can't. Some more extras this SJ3 has are a bunch of gear from Stoked Adventure Outfitters up in Squamish, British Columbia. Uh, these guys set us up with a Moab brush guard with integrated lights, a Baja roof rack, with a huge integrated light bar and their Nerf bars right here for easy access getting in and out of the van and some side protection when you're off-roading. So on the back of this SJ3, we have kitted the van out with a full setup from Alvan Engineering. It has their rear tire carrier to bring the spare tire out from under the van, their B2 bike carrier, and on this one, it's kitted out with the large cargo box, as well as the two one-up bike trays. So you can put two bikes here that swing away with the back doors. We also added a Flatline Van Company rear step here. And under the van in the spare tire compartment, uh, we added a extra 21 gallon auxiliary freshwater tank. So this van now has 41 gallons of freshwater storage between two different water tanks. So this roof rack from Stoked Adventure Outfitters is so cool because they build it with integrated 200 watts of solar, a cutout for your max air fan, and a huge perforated aluminum deck. So you can hang out up here, watch the view, throw your paddle boards, your kayaks, whatever you need up here. It's a really, really cool roof rack, and we can have these custom made from Stoked Adventure Outfitters for your van. All right, so we just stepped into the van. I'm sitting here in our passenger swivel seat. Uh, we do on all our SJ3s, a custom CNC cut bamboo plywood kitchenette with an isotherm 85 liter refrigerator with heating integrated into the lower part of the kitchenette and ventilation for your refrigerator and your two burner induction cooktop. The countertop is made out of a material called Duracine. It's a very durable, uh, non-porous material. And then we do a Ruvati stainless steel a faucet with a drop-in cutting board to give you some extra counter space. We also do our standard bamboo upper cabinets with our push lock hardware on gas struts. A microwave is also standard on the SJ3, as well as our control center here for our aqua hot hydronic heating and hot water system and our Cruise and Comfort 48 volt air conditioner system that will run for over 12 hours on a full charge in this van. All standard on the SJ3. So you probably noticed when I was on the roof rack of this van that there's no air conditioning unit on the top. The Cruise and Comfort 48 volt air conditioner is a really cool setup because the air conditioning unit actually sits on the interior of the van and it's ducted through the walls and comes out right here. There's a condenser fan mounted underneath the van instead of on the top where you see most camper van air conditioners mounted. That saves you a ton of roof space for gear, for solar, for your rooftop deck, whatever you want. And you get this nice blast of cold air coming right out of the wall, right onto your bed. I'm sitting here on our queen size rear bed with all our garage storage underneath. This bed is made possible by the flare space bump outs. And the bed actually contours to the curvature of the bump outs to give us approximately a queen size bed that we can sleep sideways in the van. This saves a ton of room and allows us to maximize the space in our layout on the SJ3. And each flare has its own bump out window with a screen slider. And from the convenience of bed right here, we have our main light control panel. And we also have our primary and auxiliary water tank uh, gauges here so we can check our tank level at any time and control from all our interior exterior lights and our water pump right here as well as access to our Bluetooth stereo system that's standard on all SJ3s and includes two speakers in the ceiling and two in the rear doors. Looking at the back of the SJ3 
You can see we have a massive amount of storage in what we call the garage area. The bed frame sits about 36 inches high over the floor of the van, and we can customize this garage space to allow you to carry mountain bikes, gear, anything you want, all customizable. Um, and inside this cabinet under the bed is our massive electrical system. It's a 48 volt electrical system made by Volta Power Systems. This is a 12 kilowatt hour battery system that charges via solar and a secondary alternator uh, tied to the engine. So it's a massive, massive amount of power to keep you going off grid endlessly. Really cool system. On this side, we have our 20 gallon wheel well contoured water tank. We also have a rear hot and cold shower sprayer with a quick release hose and our main plumbing access panel. Under here houses our aqua hot hydronic heating system and our cruise and comfort air conditioner. All our SJ3 models come standard with a water fill port on the driver's side back here. This water fill port will fill both the primary and auxiliary tank, freshwater tank on this van. We also have our LED lights um, on the sides of the van, on both sides. On the rear roof rack, we have on this model, we have our upgraded rigid LED lights to give you really, really bright amplification at night. And over here, we have our other uh, LED down light here, as well as our 30 amp shore power connection. And this van and all our vans now include a 20 amp, 120 volt outlet. So you can actually charge your buddy's RV, our plug-in and run things on power outside the van. One of the really unique things that comes standard on all our SJ3 models is the seating and sleeping for three arrangement. And that is made possible by this rear seat belted seat that we actually import from England and uh, custom fit to these vans. And the cool thing about these seats is they go from a seat belted seat to a second bed system for your buddy or for your kid, um, just like that. And just as easily, it turns back into a seat. Well, I'm hanging out the side of the van right here on one of our screen slider windows that we install on each side of every SJ3 model. And these are pretty cool because you can hang your whole body out like this if you want, or just slide the screen. And they slide open and shut and give this passenger some ventilation while you're driving down the road. Well, thanks for checking out this video tour of our highly uh, upgraded SJ3 model right here that we built for our show model. Um, there's kind of too many features to list in a short video tour, but if you're interested in learning more about this model and our other models of vans, check us out at sanjuanvans.com.